We are now ready to begin our formal introduction to Hinduism. In truth, there is no such thing as Hinduism as one unified religion, but there are rather numerous Hindu traditions. Some Hindus are polytheists, believing in many gods, such as Shiva, the god of creation, destruction, and even dance, or Vishnu, the god of preservation, who is believed to take human form as an avatar in times of need. Some Hindus are monotheists, acknowledging one godhead who can be depicted in many forms. Some honor a goddess figure, such as the dark mother Kali, who wears a skull necklace around her neck to remind us that we need to escape this world of pain and death. Or some honor Durga, the warrior goddess, or Lakshmi, the goddess of prosperity. Some Hindus do not embrace a godhead at all, but instead seek to attain a higher stage of consciousness, sometimes referred to as Brahman, not to be confused with Brahmin, one of the castes. In this context, Brahman represents the divine of which we are all part of. The analogy often used is that our self, referred to as Atman, is a drop of water from the infinite ocean of Brahman. In one of the sacred texts for Hindus, the Upanishads, it says, Tat Tavama Si, and this translates as, That Thou Art. In other words, that Atman is Brahman, or that you are divine. That is why in Hinduism there is a greeting of Namaste. It literally means, I bow to the divine in you. Despite the different understandings of God, there is a common world view that Hindus embrace, and it is also found in other Eastern Indian religions such as Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism. This world view is different than a Western world view. The Eastern view accepts reincarnation. The cycle of birth and death is called samsara, and the spiritual goal of life is to get out of this cycle and to be liberated from it. Why? Because life is filled with so much pain and suffering, and liberation, or moksha, offers indescribable bliss. Hindus argue that moksha can be attained by different paths or yogas, such as the path of bhakti yoga, the path of devotion, or jhana yoga, the path of knowledge, or karma yoga, the path of action, that is acting with your mind on God and not for any worldly reward, or raja yoga, the path of intense meditation. These different paths are all described in the Hindu text of the Bhagavad Gita. Thus, in Hinduism, there may be different understandings of God, or the infinite, and different paths to this God. What constitutes one as Hindu is embracing a particular worldview and honoring the sacred text of their ancestors, a text known as the Vedas. In Hinduism, there are a variety of sacred writings, from the Bhagavad Gita, to the Upanishads, to the Parunas, to epic stories of the Ramayana. But none are as honored as the holy Sanskrit text of the Vedas, which date back over 3,000 years ago to ancient India. Namaste.